Okay, so we're, we're going to run through some um, session, uh, joining session welcome information. Um, and I'm going to start with a land acknowledgement. This is a virtual conference, obviously. Um, I am personally situated on the unceded ancestral traditional lands of, um, I, I live in Portland, Oregon. And so uh, my county, Multnomah County, is the ancestral land of the Multnomah, Wasco, Kathlamet, Clackamas, Colwitz, and bands of the Chinook, Tualatin, Kampua, Malala, and many other tribes. Um, I'm at the confluence of three rivers. So there's a lot going on here. And so we pay respects to the elders past and present as well as future generations. And this acknowledgement hopes to demonstrate our commitment to working to dismantle the systems of oppression that have faced indigenous peoples and the ongoing legacies of settler colonialism. And I just added a little bit here, we are at end of year giving season and there's no better way to dismantle the legacy of settler colonialism than to add um, charities and um, nonprofits that support indigenous communities and families in your local area. And the one in my area um, that we support is the Native American Family Center. Uh, but you probably have one in your area too, uh, especially if you're in the US and Canada. Um, so for housekeeping, uh, first your Zoom name. If your Zoom name is wonderful, if it could reflect uh, who you are and your project affiliation, uh, she says, as she has not herself done it, but I will when I'm done talking. Um, and so to do that, you hover over your, your tiny little picture in the squares, hit those three button, three dot buttons, and it gives you the option to rename. Um, for Q&A, we're not gonna have Zoom chat today, uh, and we'll talk a little more about that later, but we'll be uh, monitoring the Slack for sessions. And if the sessions are smaller, um, people can unmute and talk, and your, your room host and your session facilitator will talk about that. Anything I missed there? I think not. So because we're not going to do Zoom chat, um, although can can the the room hosts chat in the Zoom? Can they do time reminders in the Zoom? Yes. So the, the Zoom chat, I believe um, you can still send main messages. Is that right, Vanessa? Yes. And I'll be sending those larger. All right. I'll send announcements to everybody. I give you guys all the 10 minute warnings from above. All right. So our uh, our fearless timekeeper Vanessa, uh, she's more than just a timekeeper, uh, will be uh, making sure that we all stay on time. And if you have questions about any of this stuff, you can join us at the help desk. And I know that you've been really active as a community throughout this conference and just asking questions when you have it. Now on to some more housekeeping. We're committed to creating a safe and inclusive space for all attendees. Uh, we have an event safety team, um, which is Danielle, Caitlin, and Vanessa. And you can reach us at the code of conduct channel in Slack. And you may know from my voice that I am tired because we were uh, Zoom bombed today and we've been dealing with a couple of issues throughout the conference. And so if you weren't aware of what's going on, what was happening before when we sort of um, moved out of the last sessions and then we had that big break and came back with a new link, um, when a link gets out on the internet and um, Zoom bombing starts, it's really hard to stop it. So I'm really thankful and I just want to do a little virtual round of applause for um, Caitlin and Vanessa who took on a lot of the really hard work really quickly and hopefully in a way that most of you didn't even really notice what was going on. Huh? So round of applause. It's uh, not fun to deal with this stuff. It, it is always hard and always stressful and um, I super appreciate having those two on my team. Um, so one thing we're going to add to today's schedule, if you look on the Google document that has a schedule in the um, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific time slot, myself, Caitlin, and Vanessa are going to hang out in the main Zoom for anyone who wants to talk about what happened. So, you know, we all run organizations. We work really hard to set the culture of those organizations and the communities that we participate in to be the kind of spaces where we can show up as our, as our professional selves and do our work and frankly not have to worry about being sexually harassed while we're in the middle of the conference. So I think there's some space for us to talk about our community and how to make it a safer place for um, people of color, for women, for gender non-conforming folks. Um, and I, yeah, so we're gonna save space and have that conversation there. Caitlin, Vanessa, is there anything you'd like to add? Nope, that, you got it covered, thank you. All right, so um, 
And now what's the next slide? Additional notes, we'll be recording this meeting. Meeting recordings will be made available on the IO website, IOI website in January. Um, you can always find or event organizers at the help desk. Here's the whole program committee. It's a really incredible team. It's been a pleasure to put together the event with you folks. And I'm only sorry that Bianca and Ian and the other folks in Europe didn't stay up really late to join us, but everyone's been really wonderful. Um, and it's this uh, exercise of splitting it into two time zones so that we could have speakers from Indonesia and who didn't have to speak at two in the morning, uh, I think has been really interesting and we'd love you know, the feedback on it as we move forward. Uh, now we need to thank our incredible event sponsors. So um, CZI, CZI stepped up, helped make this happen. We wouldn't be here without them. And Crossref, Hypothesis, Ithaca, uh, this is an incredible community. And um, if we just look, you know, so many of these talks, it's like, we heard you talk about that two years ago, and now here it is and it's real. And here it is, and it's changing the way that we approach scholarship. Um, there's so much happening in this community, and we're, I feel lucky to be a part of it. And thank you to our event sponsor. So another little round of applause. Um, and I think that's the end of my intro.